and the story of our former pitcher turned NFL quarterback continues. Bronson Moreau coming off of one of the best episodes so far last time out where we did finally find our win in a comeback game in the second game, which also happened to be a game with many turnovers. Coming across, trying to get it up top and try to get this one over the top as we got our guy coming across thing here before, yeah, we do. Options where we could also run it in, which we will. Moreau, he's got space to the outside. He picks up the blocks and he will do it himself. We got a receiver coming across. We find Smith and Jigba. DK gets the step over the top of the safety as well. That's a touchdown shot from midfield. Now, unfortunately, that was the only win that we've had this season. The other two games, one was a blowout against the Browns and the other was nearly a comeback win versus the Bengals. Pylon put it out for him, lofted. That's a touchdown. DK to the outside, put it on him. Flood one side, there's Fant to the outside. Let him into the end zone. Lock it, try to float it over the top, and he goes. In the pocket, he's got his receiver, Tyler Lockett. Play action, DK downfield. But as we get into today, really, we got to talk about the elephant in the room. And as we showed last episode at the end, our guy Bronson Moreau is the most hit quarterback in the NFL. And with that being the case, quite obviously, that was going to be talked about a lot in the press conferences this week, and there were a couple key quotes to take from it. The first, coming from Bronson Moreau, he said, I love my guys, but as a leader, I've got to be honest with them. Our offense has struggled. Turnovers are a problem, that's on me. But Kenneth and I, we need some blocking too. Additionally, when asked specifically about being the most hit quarterback in the league, he replied with, I didn't leave the comfy life of being on the pitcher's mound to be the most hit quarterback in the league, and it ain't even close. And with obvious animosity then in the locker room, we were able to contact Phil Hayes, starting guard for the Seahawks, who was given up 10 sacks in the first seven games of the year. And he responded by this. We obviously prefer to keep it in the locker room, but clearly we all see it on the field. We need to stay healthy. We got to keep our guys clean. So as we get today's set of games underway, one, can we find another win for Bronson Moreau and the Seahawks? And two, can we keep him clean? And if we could do that, does that mean we also limit the turnovers or are those truly the fault of Moreau? We'll find out. Get our first game underway in Baltimore. Taking on the Ravens as we go with a handoff play one. Kenneth Walker takes a cheap shot there at the end. It's a no game. That has continually been the problem with the offensive line. And to top it off, we also have an injury along the offensive line, missing one of our starters. Even though they haven't been so good anyway, we definitely don't want to be missing out on any of them. Now Moreau scrambles here, makes it third and inches. It was that running game the last couple weeks that has probably helped out this offense more than anything. Though stacked up to start us off, two yard loss and a punt. So trying to build from that, which anything, even a gain of three would be so. We get first and 10 defense picks up a pretty quick stop for us. And that is a pick thrown to the defensive lineman in Owe. That one, that's on our quarterback in Moreau. Tried to thread it, wasn't a good read. Ends up going straight to him right at the whole way. And if Moreau's gonna talk as he did heading into this game, his play needs to back it up. That start is not gonna do so. We go with the screen to follow. We get some blocks out in front this time for Walker, who will pick up that first down. Now, can we just continually build off of it? Now, the Ravens, they're playing close down to the line here. So let's go with a little bit of some play action. See if we could get someone over the top, or at least just try to buy us a little bit of some more time as we got Fant coming across. It's lofted and maybe a little bit too much, tipped away. At least one thing you can't say about that one is that it was thrown to the defense. So <laughs> we'll take that. Second and 10. We go two to the right-hand side, got one to the left. Pressure is going to force the rollout for Moreau, who looks to take the scramble. Cuts back to the left-hand side. Big gain, and he holds on to it. And to top it off, 
Oway shaking up. He's already had a big impact in this game. Hopefully he can come back for competition's sake, but we are into plus territory as we go Kenneth Walker. Once again, limited space down the middle, a lot of patience to net five yards. But really at this point, every little yard counts. As we're coming close to the end of the first quarter here, under a minute now. Looking for a timing route. We got our guy wide open. Smith and Jigba gets picked up, slammed down at the 25. We'll try to get a couple plays off if we can here prior to halftime. Two high safeties. Got some guys sitting underneath then. As we just got to find someone open. Moreau instead, he will look to scramble. Sliding down. He takes an awkward hit. And Feliciano injured again. Already talked a good bit about the offensive line needing to stay healthy. Already our starters are not that high overall. Our backups even worse. As we got Fant to the outside, the throw is off the mark. Road just two of five to start the day. He needs to catch his groove as we got second and 10 at the 14. Couple different options here. We got Smith and Jigba this time to the flat throw. Well and into the end zone. Good catch and run as we tie things back here. A good answer that drive. And even better, defense gets the stop, though we are backed up at our own, too. We got an RPO dialed up here. We can hand it off or we can swing it out, and we will swing it out. Smith and Jigba, he will pick up a block, but it's just a gain of one. But honestly, it's not like that is much worse than if we just handed it off. Now, right side of the defensive line here, Owe is back in the game. Second and nine, just need a quick pass as that one is thrown away to avoid the sack. If it was slightly tighter in, maybe it's a catch, maybe it's a pick. Either way, it's not a pick, and that's what we need here. Third and nine. I also use a first down as we got Fant coming across. Put on him. Well, he gets by the safety in Hamilton, sprinting down the field before he gets tracked down at the 45. Big change of momentum on that one. Ravens thought they had us. Instead, first and 10 for us. We flip the form here. See if we can get Walker a little bit more involved in the passing game. Or we get sacked as it's another one given up by Hayes. If our offensive linemen are averaging across the board about a sack a game, that's five sacks a game. It's been rough. That is for sure as we're on the move. Try to get this one over the top. We do find Smith and Jim, but good adjustment at the sideline as well. On the move, Moreau is showing off that arm talent. He really does. He, throw, he throws a lot of flashy plays, but it's just the inconsistency that's been the problem. As well as a whole lot of gains of nothing, essentially, on these runs. It's very much lacking a balanced form with this offense. We'll go with a little bit of a hurry up after it. Got a receiver coming across out for DK, who catches up to it. Two first half touchdowns. This one, though, puts us in front. However, that lead... Would not last long. Ravens answer. We got 46 seconds before halftime here. See if we can find some big plays. And we got Smith and Jigba towards the sideline, and he will head out of bounds with a big gain up to the 43. You know, despite some of the inaccuracies of Moreau, he's definitely starting to build here in this one. Early turnover, some sacks, trying to bounce back from those. As he rolls, tried to get this one out. It's essentially a throwaway. Maybe his receiver could have made a play if he had it a little bit lower, but it's a smart decision. Two high safeties going back to some sideline action here. As DK gets a step, though, it's lofted in tight coverage. 1v1. Humphrey gets the breakup. So third and 10, can Moreau make the play? You have a, still a chance at points before halftime. Got a couple different options. As having to evade some pass rush, Moreau, he looks for the first down, and he will get a whole lot more than that, though the ball pops free. Ravens recover. Now as we jump into the second half, it would lead to points for Baltimore heading in through halftime, so they take the lead 21-14, and we are looking to answer yet again. Having to roll, get the late release, and we do find Fant. He'll pick up six. A great job of avoiding lost yardage on that one. Now they send the blitz the next play, and Walker loses a yard. Six rushes, six yards. I'm sure Moreau is going to be pushing for either some free agent signings in the offseason or some more drafting for this offensive line, because we could use it. As Moreau looks to scramble, he slides down this time. Could have used that prior to half, but we'll get back to it. Moreau, obviously a young guy. Trying to work on some things. The transition has not been extremely smooth. As he runs, trying to find somewhere to go, he will go out of bounds. 
Looked like his eyes were fixated downfield. Luckily, he was able to pull him down and avoid a hit from Rokon Smith, who will get the hit on the next play, third and six. Really unfortunate the way that this offensive line has panned out this year with all the weapons. We're expected to have a really good spot here from Moreau to step in at. As he throws to DK, spins off. That's going to be a first down. Interesting throw, questionable throw, but it worked. And I'm sure that's one that the QB coach will have a word with him about. But for now, drive stays alive. First and 10, they look to bring the blitz again. We will roll, swing this one out for Kenneth Walker. Get him going at least a little bit in the receiving game, picking up the first down. We played in a lot of tight games mostly because of those turnovers. We know that Moreau can fight back through them. As they send the blitz again, it's out late and it's not enough time to get enough on it. He did have Smith and Jigba open downfield towards the sideline, but offensive line doesn't give us as much time as we hope that they would. Coming across, threading the gap and it's through the hands of Fant. Well, obviously we need Moreau to hold onto the ball. We also need our receivers to as well. We are definitely going to wheel out Kenneth Walker on this one. Going to flood everyone to the left-hand side. Hopefully that leaves Walker alone to the right-hand side as he does get the step, gets the turn on the backer, and it's overthrown by Moreau. And the 35 at least should be field goal range. Now as we jump forward to our next drive here, we are about at the end of the third quarter. Now we did get that field goal, but the Ravens also got a touchdown. So now down 11. Got to find some plays here in this quarter as it's a forced throw again due to pass rush, though Moreau just has to avoid those. Very costly play. Ravens will probably answer on it. Well, obviously, I think the answer for this game has been the same as every single other one. No, we have not avoided the turnovers, and no, we have not blocked any better for Moreau and definitely not for Kenneth Walker. I'm sure he's frustrated as well. In the meantime, the only thing we could really do to try to get him some yards is setting up some halfback screens to him. See what he could do with some blocking as he just honestly outruns the blocking. He's a third and four. Now we'll come at it with the pistol set. We got two receivers to the left-hand side and we will look to pass because clearly the running outside of Moreau scrambling, <laughs> well, the fumbles at least, has been pretty good. But if we can keep getting those little plays, it's at least going to be some singular victories. As we do find Fant on the crossing route, that's going to be another first down. Get us up to around the 49, actually crossing midfield. We get back to it quickly here. 35-17 game definitely out of hand right now. But if we can make some big plays, who knows? Like Fant being wide open yet again. Ball a little high, but he brings it in. We're down to the 19. If we can find the end zone here, maybe get a quick stop and another quick touchdown. Might have a interesting late game but we need someone to get open fan makes a move coming back towards the inside down inside the five at the four we'll get back to it rather quickly here need to find a quick throw we go with the rpo option here and we will swing it outside we got smith and jigba who's gonna get very quickly tackled by williams looked like they were biting on the run just really good play from the defense makes it second and goal Still need to find a quick answer here as Moreau, he'll just shift around the pocket, find the gap and get the touchdown himself. Another one scrambling, two throwing on the day. But unfortunately the defense would not get the stop and instead it would be some more scoring for the Ravens and a bad showing yet again. Turnovers, some definitely Moreau's fault, but also the offensive line still played like trash. So as we jump straight on into our next game, facing a stout front seven here in the Commanders. They got a lot of good guys are gonna to need to get the ball out quick and honestly, we might need to see a good bit more scrambling of Moreau. We also will be going away from some of the deeper passes in this one, try to get these short, quick throws, get the timing down, and hopefully with that, avoid the sacks and avoid the turnovers. But most importantly, try to avoid another loss. Third and one, got a bunch to the right-hand side couple short routes we go smith and jigba quickly that will pick up the first down the ball pops out and luckily gets bumped out of bounds we'll keep the ball i feel like it's pretty obvious but obviously moreau the only one allowed to fumble around here first and 10 as it's slant to the left hand side that is another first down a good start here for moreau 
Oh, can we find the end zone here at home in front of the crowd? I feel like they deserve it. As they bring a blitz from the left-hand side, we will roll. We'll just go ahead and swing this one out for Walker. Avoid any hits to Moreau. Give our running back some yards. At quarterback, we'll try to do what our offensive line has not. Second and five. We look for some more quick slant action, though. That's eaten up. Moreau slips one tackle. Not going to get by the second. However, though, can he find us a first down? They are scrunching down to meet our pretty tight lineup here. A little bit of some play action roll. Having to go back the other way. We've got Smith and Jigba who wasn't even paying attention out there. He easily could have got to that one. Instead, fourth and three, we'll settle for a field goal. Or we would either get a penalty or we went for it on fourth down. Either way, we still have possession now with a first and 10 at the 20. Perfect. Works out well for me. Stepping up here with Moreau sliding down underneath the coming in tackle of Davis, I believe. Jamin Davis? If I'm not mistaken, at least. Second and two. Quickly back to the line here. Can you get the check down to Smith and Jigba, who actually looks for the ball this time. Make it first and goal at the five. Now can we just find the end zone here? Lockett, I want you to just do a quick smoke screen. See if that could get Metcalf over the top. Or that drags them down. We'll go with Lockett underneath. Doesn't go very far. All in all... I like the attempt, it just didn't pan out. Second and goal, we go spread empty. Got a couple slants dialed up, we'll go with DK this time. And that's a quick strike touchdown, we take a lead early. But of course, it would be a tie game after the next drive. Commanders level this one up, we start at the 25 for our next one. See if we can get some big plays going this time, or just go with a simple throw to the right hand side. Fant will turn it into a first down. Still needing to stick with the quick throws, though if we could try to spread out the defense a little bit, all the better. Double A gap for them, they drop back into coverage. We go back to Fant, who will turn it up again, this time a good bit more than just a first down, sprinting down to the 26 before he gets caught from behind. I'm sure Fant would very much enjoy this quicker paced offense, especially if we actually start to you know, get some wins. Rolling out, throwing away, pass rush in our face. So second and 10. We'll change it up. Got a bunch of the right-hand side. Fant spreads to the left-hand side. We'll go with a quick underneath to DK, and that one is off the mark. First real bad pass from Moreau. Leaves third and 10. Need to convert here to keep the drive alive. We're going to send Walker out on his wheel. As we go across the middle, squeeze it into Fant. Takes a couple hits, but he picks up that first down. We'll get back to it quickly then as they do walk down the safety to the right-hand side. Checks out the line to help shift that way. Though they don't bring the blitz, we will roll. Got a guy coming across, though it gets jumped. Heck of a play there from Fuller. Looked like we were gonna have six. Now is time coming close to an end here this first half. We got just over two and a half minutes left, still looking to retake a lead. Smith and Jigba check down wide open. That's going to be a nice little game. Get us down to the 40. Let's try to go a little bit of some hurry up off of it. Keep the spread empty. Maybe get a little bit from Walker out as a receiver instead. Zig coming back inside. We go Noah Fant across the middle. Another first down for him. He is racking up a bunch of receptions in this one. He's already at seven for 84 yards, though I'm sure he would love a touchdown, and maybe he could find it here. Going to depend on that safety over the top who does shift that way. We'll roll, get with the check down here. DK picked up just two. But I honestly like a little bit more of that as we are inside the two-minute warning. Going to switch the strong side and weak side. Send the two to the left-hand side. Bunch goes to the right. See if that might give us a little bit more favorable advantage here. Stepping up in the pocket, looking to just run, and taking a hit, but picking up a first down goes Moreau. Four rushes for him, 25 yards. Obviously, some of those yards being taken away due to sacks. Needing to find somewhere to go here. Stepping up in, one of those sacks comes in. Take away five yards on the loss. As we go under a minute left now here. Still looking for that end zone. Coverage sitting very nicely. They're double teaming the underneath now as we get back to the line. Third and eight under 30 seconds left. Making a change. Maybe see if we can get Fant to the right hand side. Got a couple drags coming across. As we will roll, we'll throw it out and it's a couple yards too out in front for Lockett. We'll have to settle for a field goal at the end. 
Now jumping way down the line to about a minute left in the third quarter. We got a 10-10 ball game. We did take a 10-7 lead into halftime, but that did not stick. And the hit took about 30 yards off the throw, and it goes straight to the defender. Not much of that goes to Moreau. That one to the O-line. But of course, it would also lead to a lead now for the Commanders. Seven minutes left. We need at least a field goal to get this one back level. Stepping up in the pocket, Moreau looks to rumble. The ball pops out. Second straight turnover. Come on now, Madden. It's not even like he's taking big hits or they're ripping the ball. He's just getting normally tackled. And it's a fumble. We talked about maybe changing the uh, difficulty here. Maybe we will as we get escorted out of bounds by Young. Obviously, the opposite to lowering the difficulties, you know, making it too easy. We definitely don't want that to be the case at all. But we need Madden to function, and we need to be able to throw a ball. So maybe if we jump into the next game here, we might try it with a lower difficulty just to get a gauge and then you all can decide on how we feel about it. Though we find Smith and Jigba coming across, he takes the big hit, but he does get us a much needed first down. With under four minutes left, we are down two possessions. Having to roll and it will have to be a run here for Moreau. Now he dives forward and that's not a fumble, but a normal tackle and he coughs it up. That's just mad and telling me they don't even know what's happening. But it's a fun first down for us. Starting to air out the ball a little bit more downfield. Not exactly the original game plan, but if it works, we find Smith in Jigba. He's in the end zone, but I think we were past the line of scrimmage on the throw. It's another one of those plays that Moreau shows great pocket awareness moving around, but he did not show great awareness of where the line of scrimmage was. We also go with the check down. We pick up some yards. Leaving us with a third and eight. Need at least the eight. Making a check at the line is Moreau. Got a bunch to the right-hand side. Trying to get that in front of the linebacker. Instead, it's behind, but it works. DK down to the 11. As we go with the hurry up here, if we want a chance at getting back in this game, we need a touchdown, maybe an onside or a quick stop from our defense. Either way, we need a touchdown. Out to Walker. It's a loss of one. That's a phrase I've had to say all too much as we also hit the two minute warning really could use with a quick score now as Moreau cannot split the defensive line looked like it was open for a second it closed rather quickly third and nine under a minute 45 left he's got our open guy DK gets the touchdown now can we get a chance to try to level or take the lead with just under a minute 40, we do kick it away. We'll need a quick stop from our defense as Robinson picks up four, picks up five, and picks up the first down. That will do it. Turnovers ultimately, once again, the reason we lose 2017. Let's jump into the next game. Let's try it on a lower difficulty. And honestly, there's probably not a better time to try out the new difficulty as we are back against the Rams and Aaron Donald, the guy that welcomed us to the league with many, many different sacks, big hits, a lot of turnovers forced. We start off with a fun little pop shot there to Smith and Jigba. Now, obviously, I don't want this to be too easy. I still want a good challenge. I just want the game to function. That is the big thing. I don't want the same storyline every single episode being just turnover, turnover, turnover. But we start with two big pass, pass plays to get us going. Maybe on top of this, we'll also be able to have a little bit of some run game as well. We'll trial it here. This game is really just a toss up to gauge the difficulties. If we had the ability to adjust sliders, I would do that. But we do not have that option here in this form of Madden in superstar mode. Stepping up, deliver the throw, and all right, well, we still have inaccurate throws. And that one was definitely one I would have thought Moreau could have hit. Third and nine, we go spread. Three options to the right-hand side, having to step up in the pocket, though taking a shot from behind. Will be a field goal. Now, as we jump forward into the start of the second quarter, we have a 3-0 game. And so far, it's been an interesting play, I will say. Some plays make sense, some don't still here, but all in all, I think the difficulty is working. It's really just working in a different way than what it has worked prior. 
First and 10. Moreau dropping back. They bring the extra blitz. We roll, try to see if we can buy a little bit of some time. We look downfield and we find Smith and Jigba. Honestly, if that was still on Ole Madden, it's probably a pick. But I think that really indicates the difference here of this difficulty going down to all pro where Madden is supposed to be optimized for. Get this one up and a little bit behind, but we find Lockett. It's essentially quarterback is playing pretty similar. It's just the receivers playing differently. We've still had inaccurate throws. And across the board, I feel like Moreau may be playing a little bit more smoother. We're still having to deal with a lot of pass rush as there is a penalty down. So we'll just look to, I guess, run all the way down to the one. We take a pop shot, but this one most likely coming back. So essentially, Moreau just got to stretch his legs there. First and 20 back at the 42. Gonna flood everyone to one side of the field. We go with a quick throw fant. That'll get seven of the yards back. I wanna see we're all the way down to the one. So still a long ways away from there. Second and 13. As again, we get some rush and we get sacked. Hoach and someone else. But perhaps this difficulty fitting a little bit more. We'll give it a couple games. That's for sure. Third and 14. Having to evade the pocket a little bit. We got a receiver coming across. We find Lockett. That's going to get us down to about the 10. First and goal. Now, obviously, this is really a story-based kind of series. So I think All Pro might fit that a little bit more. As we find DK, we find the touchdown we didn't earlier. We widen our lead. But on the following drive for the Rams, they would find their first touchdown as well. So a two-minute offense to try to re-widen that lead back to 10 points. We go with Fant, who picks up the first, and we hit the two-minute warning. Now we have all of our timeouts. So do the Rams. Got some underneath routes. One going downfield. Though they cover that one pretty well. We get that one out for Smith and Jig, but that is the thing we're seeing here with this difficulty. We saw it a little bit with All Madden, but... That is where the difference, I think, is being made. Not necessarily your quarterback forced to play poorly, but just your receivers aren't going to be making as big of plays, though a little bit more active in the 1v1s. And that was probably a good reason for at least a handful of the interceptions that we've had already this season. So if that cleans it up, all the better. As we roll to the right-hand side, well, we've got open spaces here for Moreau, who's going to scramble, turn up, and try to get out of bounds. Still takes the hit from Fuller. But we will stop the clock with 119 still left. We're down to the 27. We got two high safeties. See if we can get someone open or just look for the check down underneath. Then we go Smith and Jigba. We'll get a gain of eight. We'll get back to it right away. Though we are going to flip the formation, send the heavy side to the right-hand side. Leave Lockett lone to the left. See if we could get DK 1v1. Look for a little bit of a back shoulder throw. Well, it was back shoulder. It was also just very much swatted away from Witherspoon. So on third and two, we focus on picking up the first down. And we've got a guy right across the middle. This time we find him and he finds the ball. We get that first down. We'll get back to it there. We got three options to the right. Lock it to the left. They do shade as we roll. Look to see if we can find DK underneath, and we do, down to the one. He apparently didn't cross the plane. So we'll go with that favorite RPO that we found a couple games ago. Swing it out for fair, and that is a quick strike touchdown. We retake a 10-point lead at half. And as we get into the second half, we maintain that lead. It was a quick stop from the defense, a three and out to get this half going. As we swing that one out for Lockett, takes a shot from behind, but he holds on to it. And apparently we're just starting this drive with some hurry up, because I guess why not? As we go to a little bit of some play action, DK lone downfield, that ball a little bit too much to the sideline, but he still manages to get the catch. Actually, no, he doesn't. Thought he got that toe tap, but no. So entirely on Moreau, that should have been a touchdown shot. Instead, We'll settle for the check down to Fant, who will turn up to first down. But we could have been much further downfield. That does clearly display that there are still some inaccuracies for Moreau. And he's not a super highly rated quarterback either, only a 77. So we should see some inaccuracies as we find our guy coming across Smith in Jigba down to the opposite 28. Now we are seeing our receivers get a lot more open, I would say, on some of these than we were 
with the all Madden difficulty. So a little bit of some give and take as there is pass rush right in our face is Bobby Brown. Moreau caught with his eyes downfield, didn't notice the big goon right in front of him. Second and 19 then, as they will only bring four. We make a move downfield, it's tipped away. Needed that a little bit higher. So instead, third and 19. Need to find a big play still though for the first down. Or at least get into field goal range as if we could find our guy on the move. Smith and Jigbo will find the field goal range, but that's about it. But once again, we have the special teams go for it and they give us another fresh set here. So we have a, still an opportunity to find a touchdown though. Donald trying to ruin that Moreau. He's on the move. He's going to almost outrun Donald who dives, pushing him out, gain a five. Now I will say Donald has had a much less impact on this game, a far less impact on this game would be a proper way of saying it. Then the first matchup, probably coming down to difficulty as Lockett comes up a yard shy. We'll bring out the RPO here. Lockett could still find his touchdown. Going to depend on what that outside corner does. Or apparently it's a read option RPO and we lose two yards. Still waiting for Madden to very much indicate that that's what those ones are. Second and goal. Hard count, no one jump. Still have yet to force an offside. Coming across and the receiver stopped. Lockett was running into an open window and he stopped behind Fuller. That one, I mean, obviously, the way it looks, Moreau threw it straight to the corner, but that comes down to just Madden AI, for sure. The good thing is the defense playing pretty stout today. We still maintain our touchdown lead. Into the fourth quarter, I would like to grow that lead. We get this one downfield, good sideline pass. We find Lockett this time. And with just under seven minutes, we still have got a full quarter here to try to build our lead and hold on to our lead. With that throw, Moreau does go over 300 on the day. Not sure if that's the first time in his career. I know he hasn't done it that often as he looks to scramble sliding down. He picks up the first. Trying to take up a good bit of time. We should probably actually start chewing some clock as well. Bunch to the left-hand side. Having to, once again, roll out here. Avoid the rush sliding down at the 26. I will say this one has been definitely a change of pace for Moreau and this offense actually able to do things. And I'm not just saying that because we have the win as DK drops it. But overall, we just had a lot more feel to the offense. Able to do a lot more things as they bring the blitz. We got DK coming across. This time we hook up with him, turning up the sideline down to the 13. And on top of it, both sides are still making plays. We've had turnovers. Defense has gotten some good pass breakups. I mean, everyone is doing what they're supposed to be doing. So we'll go through a full episode, I think, on this difficulty. You guys can let me know your thoughts after that. But trying to go up two scores here late in the fourth. We come out in pistol. Just need someone to squeak through as we roll. Well, we've got a lane and we can pick up a block and Moreau will do it himself. Another rushing touchdown added to the stat column as we go up by 14. And that score would apparently be pretty important as the Rams would drive down. With 110, we need to end this game and we are going to try to do it on the ball because why not? As we got a receiver downfield, maybe that one a little bit too far downfield. But we pick up the first down. First timeout falls for the Rams. So we'll stick with the look. We'll go Kenneth Walker. Let's try to get him some carries. We do need to test to see if the running game is actually going to be viable here in this difficulty. Just so Moreau doesn't have to chuck the ball about 60 times per game. Kenneth Walker down the middle. He'll pick up three over the last two plays, leaving a third and seven. Now we are in field goal range, so at worst, we do tack on a field goal, making things extremely difficult here for the Rams. But honestly, we prefer to put this one away as we find the fullback who turns up. Stopped inches shy. They actually will let us come right back out for it. Very questionable here. Hard counts. Question is, how many hard counts can we do before someone jumps off sides? Apparently it is three. But we'll just let this one come to an end. And actually, I think we win for it. I don't know what happened, but either way, we did not tack on any more points, I believe. But we come away with a win. Now, it was still 
turnovers. We still had pressure. We still missed throws. So to wrap up, I want to just quickly compare the stats, at least from these last couple games, with it being the All-Pro versus the All-Madden ones. Now, Bronson Moreau in this one had a 103.9 QBR through for 350 yards, essentially two touchdowns, had an interception. He completed 68% of his throws. And on top of that, he ran for about 10 yards a carry and had a touchdown. Now against the Commanders, who I would say a pretty similar style defense, Bronson Moreau had a 93.7 QBR, threw for 250, had two touchdowns, two interceptions, though 78% completion. On top of that, he also ran for five and a half yards per carry and had a fumble. So maybe slightly less turnover, but I think that's more so just to Madden not forcing things, at least in that one. In the first game against the Ravens, it was a lot more turnover ridden. And he had an 88.3 QBR, 300 yards passing. So he has gone over 300 a couple times at least. Two touchdowns, two interceptions, 60% completion, running the ball a touchdown and another fumble, but back to that 10 yards on average. So I still think the play for Moreau was about the same. I really think the difference in it came to the play of our receivers, the guys around us. There was a little bit more space in the routes. It wasn't 50-50 balls at the best. And in those 50-50 balls, our guys were attacking the ball. So I think in our next episode, we will go through the next three games in all pro. Now we're definitely not fighting really for a chance at the playoffs this year with how bad the start has been. We've only had two wins. so. Even if we get three easy wins, that's not really going to change the outcome of this first season. And we can gauge where we want to go from there. Definitely let me know your thoughts on it down below. And while you're doing stuff down there, make sure you also hit either that bear icon in the bottom right or hit the sub button. They both do the exact same thing. And tap that bell icon so you're notified of when these videos go live. This series, every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Plus, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we also have the state-only challenge. Currently, the Marylevania as it's Maryland and Pennsylvania who have made it to the divisional round. That will be out tomorrow, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And make sure you stay tuned for an offense with Bronson Moreau that finally is not getting cheated by Madden.